What's up guys and welcome back to another video today we will go over everything you need to know for the CT side of Dust 2 and that means we have completed all the maps in the map pool let me know down in the comments if you want to see something for office as well I like to get a bit of creative there so but without further ado let's get into it First off, we have a smoke for some tunnels control. First off, get into this corner here if you want to go for tunnels control. Get stuck here. Look for this shelf up the top there and go right where you can see this brick or this little tippy top thing of the building sticking out. And then just jump for a smoke. Smoke will go nicely up top. Bounce off the wall there and fall right in front of the tunnel's entrance here. So if you crunch tunnels, you can go through lower and you can go through main. Just get right into it and you can get some easy tunnels control. Okay, next up we have another smoke thrown from the same position as before. Go into this corner here. This is kind of a lurk smoke. I like to throw this and get some mid control early. First off, look for this little crack on the wall right here. And just aim here, jump for a smoke. And you will see it will land perfectly on top of the ledge up there. So if you get out of here, you can actually boost on top of here. Got a bit of hold for lower and your teammate can support you there. And you can just jiggle the smoke here, which is a very, very early boost. So no enemies would expect that that early. Gives me normally an easy first frag every single round. Next up, we have another smoke that can help you a lot with your mid control. First spawn to get out of here. The other CT spawn gets right into this corner here. Look up to this building where those two edges meet just in the inner angle like that. And then just jump from the smoke. Smoke goes perfectly over the buildings, lands deep into middle. The meanwhile, you can just do some flashes here, get some Molotov Sword Suicide and take some mid control. No T's would ever dare to push out this smoke because that would be an easy frag for you. Another very powerful smoke I think is to deal with this annoying suicide angle up the top mid at the T spawn is from the same position as well from this corner here. And if you get a smoke from a teammate dropped, you can actually do both of them. First off, so you smoke this one and then you just aim up here on top of this pylon or whatever is sticking out of that wall there and jump for your smoke. Smoke will go nicely and deep in to suicide. That was very easy there. But if you want to, as I said, get another smoke. Okay, teammate to drop you one so you can actually do first off this one and the second one would be from here throw that one in there and that will just boom as this one arrives get up easy in to mid control and take full space of the half of the map next up we have another smoke that i like to throw if i like to go a bit offensive towards middle like mid round or something like that just to get rid of this annoying lower tunnel angle we can get into this corner here look for this darker dot on the wall and then w jump throw smoke will bounce off twice and land inside the tunnels wait until it fully blooms when you're there you can actually go through here and just take a bit steps towards middle not worrying about the angle here in lower tunnels you've got maybe a short player supporting you go crunch up middle and get an easy frag and easy mid control okay next up if you play in the default settings that you have five players and three of them go towards long control you are the one supporting with flashes and you can throw the smoke as well from here get into this corner up there look for this little triangle which you can see there and follow it down to this edge of the curb or whatever that is and then just jump for the smoke you see the smoke will bounce off this beam there and land from the behind into the double doors giving you a bit of extra room you can't molly this but you will have a lot of room to work with so if you come out long and fight towards long people will have to come out the smoke to challenge you makes an easy frag for you and your team to take long control Next up, if you are the third player leaving spawn and supporting your teammates, as I said, put the smoke and then when your teammates are fighting, get here at this corner there and wait till commitment happens and then just look for this beam up there. Just align it roughly with this beam down there like this. Just like that, it doesn't have to be too pixel perfect. It will go anywhere and it will land perfectly on top of the building there. Will not blind your teammates, you'll throw them behind. But everybody who comes out here will be completely obliterated by the flash. No chance whatsoever. Easy frag for you and your team to take some long control. Next up, if you're a long player and want to support your teammates in the middle, like the first spawn, you don't want to commit to long, don't want to go for long control, want to go for middle control instead. You as a long player can support this. Get on these boxes here, get trapped next to the first box up the top here 
the new box that was dropped recently and then look up this wall and look for this little pattern up the wall there you can see there's like these squares inside all the rectangles inside there and then you just go right in the middle of that and then jump for the smoke smoke will go nicely over the buildings if it was quick enough it will bloom before your teammates reach top mid and then as soon as it blooms you've got your teammates running up short maybe running up down here you can go short a bit later and support as well just jump up the box and then you've got some easy mid control for you and your team Okay, next up we have another smoke which is more designed for a retake scenario anyway. So if you're like your teammates or your enemies are smoked off this area here at the door, you know they're on B and you want to go for a retake, get stuck in this corner here, look for the middle of this crane, follow it all the way up to this cable up there and then just left click your smoke. So it will go perfectly in front of tunnels. So smoking off B probably playing post plant position from there if you want to you can follow us up with a flash just throw it through the hole like this and yeah just a bit attempt your retakes easy as that get in to site and retake and win the round okay last but not least we have a molotov for the retakes to deal with some annoying angles here around this box near the window first off get trapped here look for this shadow on the wall and get right into the middle of the shadow here go down to the beam just where my crosshair is now and then w throw. molly lands perfectly please think of it it is a ct molly so it's not that good it does burn out all the corners here and all of this surrounding if you got a t-side molly it would be even more efficient but we normally you have a ct molly for your retake since it's not as good anymore it won't do as much damage as it has done before but still easy way to clear out the angles easy retake for you and your team Okay guys, that was it for the video. The best 10 utility you need to know for Dust 2 on your CT side. And this means we've completed all the maps. As I said before, let me know down in the comments if you want to see something creative for Office. I'll be glad to do that. However guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.